fear. We all have it. Typically the relationship with fear is that you avoid the thing that scares you. One of my fears specifically is the ocean. I fear the big sharks. I'm scared that I won't be able to withstand seasickness. That's something that I experience quite a bit. I'm fearful that my body won't be able to meet this challenge. The sport of marathon swimming is, is a lot more than just swimming. You are certain to hit up against your edges mentally, physically, and spiritually. When you're swimming in the open water for 12 hours straight, and you can't touch a boat, you'll get disqualified. You have to just tread water if you need to stop. And the physical demands of what I'm attempting to do are huge. Your brain goes into a pretty dark place at times. So I can't do another stroke, I can't do another stroke. And then you keep going and you break past barriers you never thought were possible to exist. When I was six years old, my parents took me to the pool and I remember not being sure about this, but I got in the water and I was pretty good. When my mom took me to the swim team tryouts when I was nine years old at the YMCA and I was so anxious, I didn't want to go, I protested. But I look back at that now and thank my parents so much and for encouraging me to do that tryout because the sport of swimming has given me so much. Right now I'm training to complete the Catalina Channel Swim. The Catalina Channel is in California. It's a 20.1 mile swim going from the Catalina Island to the mainland. It's been a huge psychological challenge for me. I sit and think about this swim and my stomach just churns, like, can I do it? It's something that's testing me. And so while it's something that is so, so, so scary to me, it's something that I'm really excited about. The water provides a place of calm for me where everything goes away. It's just me and the water and the feel of the water. It's the ultimate place of refuge for me.